going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to auto auction rebuilds we are back at copart for another copart walk around let's jump into this today with number one on my list how about a cheap 2009 nissan rogue i don't know i've been seeing a lot of nissans out here lately 201,000 miles little ding in the quarter there i guarantee it almost all that will come right back out the bumper a little scratched up no big deal it's a cheap vehicle guys and this side looks relatively good. It's got plenty of dings. The tires are decent. Douglas over there. What do we got over here? We got a Hercules up here. So mismatched tires, uh, another ding here and a little scrape down the fender. Bumper is a little misaligned here and there. But again, it's a super cheap vehicle, guys. What do you expect? I, I don't expect perfection out of cheap cars. Let's take a look at the interior. Well, boy. <laughs> she is filthy yep she's a she's a dirty one very very dirty i mean i've seen a lot worse but this one is definitely definitely dirty what do we got here let's see a bunch of envelopes oh class of 2021 graduate okay well, congratulations to the class of 2021 graduates. Uh, is that a firecracker? There are there are explosives in the center console. Yeah, uh, nice little firecrackers there. You get some money, so you're automatically coming up when you buy this. Get you a little uh, USB charger as well. Very nice. It smells. It smells all right. I mean, it it definitely doesn't smell like one of the worst ones that we've encountered out here let's put the key in i don't think there's any power we'll have to put a jump on it yeah dead as a doornail the interior needs a severe cleaning i i mean it did needs it needs cleaned other than that though not too bad i'm just curious how it runs a four banger really okay well <laughs> Somehow, I guess I was expecting a, uh, a beefy V6 under the hood of this thing. All right, well, that, that was surprising. That was definitely surprising. Should we check the trans fluid? See what she looks like? Brown? All right. And let's check the oil real quick. Pretty dark. She's probably lacking on maintenance a little bit. It's a very floppy uh, dipstick here. <laughs> very, very loose. And uh, everything under here actually looks pretty good. Let me grab a jump pack real quick. We'll throw it on and see if she wants to run. Booster pack is hooked up. I heard it makes some noise. So let's find out what she wants to do. All right, everything's alive. She cranked a little longer than I would have liked. A little rattly when you first start it, but... All right, we have a traction control light, ABS light, brake light, VDC off light, low fuel light. <laughs> All right, let me, maybe the e-brake is on. Yes, it is. But we still have the VDC traction and ABS. Now, of course, if you have an ABS light, your traction control lights are going to be on too because traction control relies on the anti-lock brakes. So it could be a matter of just replacing a wheel speed sensor or excuse me in some cases you got to replace the entire hub assembly brakes feel decent reverse oh look at this it's got a backup camera up there how nice is that right into gear both ways very nice steering steering feels good i want to turn on the ac uh-oh Interesting. Okay. Nothing works as far as air conditioning is concerned. Cigarette lighter works. Radio. Radio works, but the climate control does not do anything. None of the buttons light up. Nothing at all. So it could be a blown fuse. Hard to say. 
important window works like a champ less important window also works uh, least important windows they all work very nice very nice you give this thing a good cleaning and this wouldn't be a bad daily uh oh all right well <laughs> This is another one that you can tell has sat a long time. They pressure washed it, but they didn't do a very good job of getting to the top. It's covered in mildew and stuff from sitting for a long period of time. And sometimes that happens, you know, people get older. It could have been an estate type deal or again, it could be mechanical. It could be something where, well, the transmission quit working right and they decided just to park it till they could fix it. And then five years went by and they never fixed it. So they decided to sell it. Alternator is charging, 14 volts, that's good. These are risky, these are risky. It's a mixed bag, you don't know what you're getting. You know, sometimes you get that great deal of an estate type situation where someone either got too old to drive or someone passed away and you get to reap the benefits of a great vehicle that was well maintained. Uh, I'm gonna say though, honestly, when you take a look around the vehicle, it shows, it shows signs other than what I just said. Uh, I doubt older people are driving around with firecrackers in their center console. Um, the fact that we found a class of 2021 graduate cards in there makes you think this was this was probably a younger person's car. Although it does have the grandma bumps and bruises, those could also be easily mistaken for a, a teenage driver bumps and bruises. They're about the same. They're about identical. Um, should I bid on this? I don't think so, honestly. I mean, she sounds good. It does go right into gear. Will it start back up? No. Battery is probably toast on this as well. No, I think on this one, guys, I'm going to stay away from it. Uh, I just, I got to... I just have an uneasy feeling about this one. Also, I noticed the uh, inner fender liner on the passenger side is gone as well. So she's been, she's been she's been road hard and put away wet, guys. And for that reason, I'm gonna walk away and move on to the thumbnail. Next, we have a 2017 Toyota 86, and this one I am definitely considering bidding on. 68,000 miles. It's got the Boxster engine, or is it Boxer? It's Boxer. I'm confusing Porsche Boxster with the Boxer engine forgive me forgive me it's hot out here this is a beautiful orange color guys it's only got 68,000 miles and yeah she's been in a bit of an accident but honestly looking around structurally it doesn't look bad frame rails look perfectly straight and i know a lot of people get turned off by a car that's missing a bunch of parts it doesn't really bother me that much because the more parts that they've taken off the more i can actually see Gives me a better idea of what the real damage is. And this just doesn't look bad. Core support looks good. Of course, that upper tie bar is missing. Could be in the car. Um, but it doesn't look like anything up here was damaged. Not even the crash bar. The good old boxer engine looks really nice. For, uh, frame rails. Uh, fender aprons look straight. Strut towers look straight. The hood's got a bit of a bend right here. Probably need to replace the hood. Um, there's a little bit of damage right here this you could probably just straighten all this out if you wanted to i mean if you didn't want to they're spot welded on here and you can just drill out those spot welds and spot weld some new components on this is very minor minor damn this is superficial is what this is what this is none of this is structural uh structural is where you're getting up here where all these braces are going to the a pillar from the fender apron i mean everything here is perfectly straight it's perfectly straight maybe there's some suspension damage I'm going to say there was already some suspension damage. The tire's bald on the inside. <laughs> you, had, you had something going on there. Uh, it's going to need quite a few parts, though. I mean, fender liner, fender um, hood. I'd go ahead and just replace this. Uh, headlights, condenser, radiator. You're going to need that whole thing, man. It's going to need all that. All the lights. Fender liners are missing on both sides. Unless all of this stuff is in the car. Of course, the front bumper... I don't think this is a very expensive car, guys. This is probably very, very affordable. Definitely doable. This is actually pretty nice. 
Is there, how do you get in? Let's see. Okay, well, looky here. We got a lot of parts here. The fender, which I'm sure is trash. Um, I wouldn't count on that being good, but the fender liner is in there. The headlights are in there. They may be good. They may not be good. Looks like that upper core support that's missing is also in there. Very nice. Guys, this car doesn't, this doesn't need much. I mean, I know it's not a, I know it's not a super fast car, but it looks like a lot of fun. It does, and I just love the color. I really love this color. Those headlights, I would bet one of them's probably done for. This should be the passenger side light right here. You can see it took a little bit of damage. Yeah, clips are broken, so that headlight is done. But there's no reason for the driver's side headlight to be broken. None at all. I bet money the driver's side headlight is fine. I hate that the fender is sitting in here rubbing on all this leather and uh, Alcantara. That sucks. Okay, no bags blown. That's good. Why don't I grab a jump pack real quick? Let's hook it up and let's see what she does. I bet you could probably find the majority of the parts that you need to put this back together for around 1500 bucks. Of course, it's going to need a little paint work, a little bit of blending when it's done. It sucks that it's got these stripes going down it. Um, that's something that obviously will have to be replaced. Either that or you'll have to remove them from the rest of the car. But this is still... It's a nice looking little ride. I really like this. And I'm actually really considering tossing a bid on this. We got a uh, nice little screen there. Uh-oh. It's an automatic. Ooh. Uh. <laughs> Uh-oh. That's not good. Well, that takes some of the fun out of it, guys. I, I The whole time I've been looking at this, I just assumed it was a stick shift. Uh, I didn't think this is an automatic. Uh, come on. There we go. Make sure she's got a good bite on there. Yeah, I was really thinking this was a manual transmission, and that's really why I was super excited about it. Uh, I'm really not feeling interested in it at all as a uh, as an automatic car. There we go. I mean, don't get me wrong, it, it sounds good. Obviously, the climate control is not going to work. We're not going to have air conditioning, so you might as well turn that off. Traction control, TPMS, check engine light, probably missing the mass airflow, intake air temperature sensor, things of that nature. Let's see if we can pop the trunk. I don't, there we go. It wasn't working. I have no doubt that things like the windows, steering, all that stuff, steering works, brakes feel good. Yeah. I mean, it's only got 68,000 miles on it. And it's a Toyota. Ah. <laughs> Ooh, score. This is a big score. This is a real big score. I don't believe any of this was damaged in the accident. I don't. I think they took it apart to see if there was any damage underneath. I think that radiator and condenser is all good. I don't see anything torn up on it at all. Nothing. <laughs> well, that just saved a bunch of money right there. That just saved a bunch of money. It's got some nice burnt titanium looking exhaust. The exhaust sounds decent. The engine runs decent. Huh. What do you guys think? Uh, <laughs> all we need is a bag of bolts. Let's move this out of the way. As he's sitting over there by the exhaust. There's your mass airflow sensor right there that's missing. So of course we're gonna have a check engine light. Guys, this is fixable. It's an automatic though. Ugh, ugh, I have no interest in this as an automatic. I really don't. Let's go ahead and... It goes into gear. Both ways. Go ahead and shut her off. Well, I'm, I'm somewhat interested. I'm also kind of confused 
normally, since this is an automatic car, you would have a, uh, a transmission oil cooler. And I would have thought we would have been dumping transmission fluid all over the ground, and we're not. The only lines that I see are for the air conditioning right here, which, by the way, also look to be in really good condition. This is a great little car. Guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and throw a bit on it. And maybe we'll see if we can win this. This could be fun. I think most of the parts to put it back together are literally in the trunk in the back seat. I don't think this would take more than a day's work to put back together and have it out on the road driving again. So, yeah, let's throw a bit on this one. Now, right next to the little Toyota 86, look at the carnage on this Lexus IS250. The wheel is in the back seat. Like, the back door, I don't know where it went, but it is all mangled and turned into almost nothing. The B-pillar, this is insane. Good Lord. This car took a nasty, nasty hit to the back. Look at this. The whole rear end has just been shifted that direction. All of it, every bit of it pushed over there. Is that door really? It is, it's still holding on by the door latch. Good night. 227,000 miles on the odometer of this one. She lived a good life. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say, I don't think anybody was in that back seat. You know, I, I don't. No, the, uh, the seat broke. You can see it's twisted. The seat actually broke here. And that back seat is now almost in the front of the car. Good night, F Sport. Wow. That is, uh, that's terrifying is what that is. I, I, I mean, the extent of the damage is absolutely insane. Last on my list, you guys know I've been wanting one of these for a long time. And one of these days I'm going to get one. The question is, is this the one I should bid on? It's a 2008 Nissan Armada. She took a little bit of damage in the front, and if you're not right up on it, it's really hard to see. But you can see the gaps here are not good. It looks like it just kind of bumped into something and pushed some stuff in right back here. I would say that's totally fixable if there's no other serious damage. I didn't see that in the pictures, but now that I'm standing here, I definitely see it totally fixable. Totally fixable. 287,000 miles on the odometer. Hey, that's nothing for a Toyota, right? All right. The tires are decent. They're okay. It looks fine back here too. No kidding. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Ooh, wow. All right. Uh, yeah, that is way worse. Way worse than what I was expecting. Holy crap. Yeah. Damn it. I'm real upset about this. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you're just looking for a toy, this could still work. You could still you could still get some life. You could still get some life out of this. This door you got to really slam, but look at the gaps. Look how tight they are up here. And as you get down here, they get real loose real real loose and then of course you got lots of damage on this quarter here it I, there's frame damage a hundred percent a hundred percent i mean all you've got here is pretty much just a little buckle a little damage to this plastic on the back bumper which honestly it's no big deal but for it to be affecting the door up here tight seal here loose here this thing has been pushed this way like this so there's definitely frame damage affecting all of this that really sucks that really sucks. And then, of course, you got the damage on the front as well. But again, if you're looking for a toy, uh, you know, you could still do something with this, I'm sure. How's the interior? Just a little rough. Somebody cut the catalytic converter off of it? <laughs> oh, no, it's bent. It is bent in half down there. Look at that. Wow. Okay. She's going to have some problems, guys. I'm glad I came and I looked at this one. 
Uh, lately, you guys might know that I've been I've been bidding on most of my cars sight unseen. Uh, I've just been going for it. And, you know, some of them are winners and some of them are losers. That's just the way it goes. Uh, but I thought on this one, you know, maybe I should come out and look at it. I'm glad I did. I am. Um, she is dead as a doornail. Let's go ahead and pop the hood real quick. And see what she's working with. All right. Boy, it used to be a nice color before someone, uh, you know, matte blacked it. It's actually a pretty decent looking car. Battery, Continental. It's a good battery, not cheap. k and air filter. Someone loved this thing at one time, guys. Let's throw a jump on it real quick and let's see how it runs. I, I expect it's gonna be really, really loud. What do you think, it's gonna start right up? I don't know, it is listed as a run and drive. Um, I think she'll start. I just think she's gonna be really, really loud with that missing exhaust. That was weird. The engine almost sounded locked up, didn't it? It just clicked. All right. It's not loud. So that exhaust has to come from something else. <laughs> that didn't come from this. What lights do we have on? ABS, slip, VDC, airbag. Yeah, she's got a few, she got a few lights on the dash there. Let's see what the air conditioning does. Let's turn it on. Does it work? I'll bet it does. I'll bet it does. Yes, AC works. Important window. That does not work. No, wait, there it goes. Yeah, it worked. Whoa, stop that. Stop that. There we go. There we go. Okay. It does work, just a sticky switch. There you go. Not bad. Steering feels good. Brakes. It's got them. Gears. Oh, yeah. Backup camera, too, and it works. Well, hell, man. You could still get some use out of this. For sure. You could, you could absolutely still get some good use out of this. What about the radio? Hell, I don't know. I don't know how to do it. It says it's... Average fuel economy, 14.1 miles a gallon. That's insane. My TRX, mostly highway driving, I get 12.2 to 12.3. 12.3 is the best fuel economy I have ever gotten out of my TRX. I kid you not. It, it's horrible. It gets, <laughs> there she is right there sitting there looking dirty. Uh, yeah, she gets absolutely horrible fuel economy. Uh, and, and don't even think about smashing on it and doing launch control and stuff. Uh, because those numbers just continuously go down uh, when you do stuff like that. But it's a ton of fun. It's a ton of fun. Smiles per gallon is the way I like to look at it. Guys, I think we're about done. But I spotted this Altima literally sitting right in front of the Altima. Right, right in front of the Armada. I saw this Ultima 2.5, it says Biohazard. And I saw paint all over it and I thought, I gotta look at this one. I, I gotta look at this one. Um, this, this is, these kinds of cars are very interesting because I always wonder, you know, what happened? What happened to this? Was it uh, a car that somebody just wanted out of? So, you know, they smeared paint all over it and smashed the windows? Was it somebody that cheated on somebody and, you know, the ex came back and just destroyed the car? You just never know. You can speculate all day long, and truthfully, that's that's part of the fun for me. I love, I love speculating what may have happened. But, like, how does this happen? It looks like someone literally just threw paint all over the car. And up here, they just, what did they wipe this on with, a sponge? Really? I mean, paint comes off. Almost all of this, I guarantee you could get all this off. You could get all this off. Um, looks like maybe they painted the interior too. Let's see. It is a bio. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold up. Well, this is a difficult one. Okay, no. So I was thinking, hell, I don't know. Surely that's not blood. Surely not. 
No, I don't. That, I think that's just dirty. Yeah, I think that's just, ooh. Good Lord. Mm. What about that, though? I don't know. Oh, good God. Uh, the uh, smell in there is pretty bad. That is pretty bad. There's no evidence tape, so I mean, I wouldn't think that this was a car like somebody got, you know, 86 in or something. Uh, usually you'd find stickers, residue of, of evidence tape all over, and I don't see that, so I'm just going to assume that's not what this is. But that seat over there just, that is, that is so disgusting. So disgusting. This whole car, man, this is awful. Ooh. Whoo! Um, that wasn't even on my list. <laughs> I just saw it sitting there. I saw it sitting there. I saw paint all over it and a smash one. I was like, "All right, we gotta check this. We gotta check this one out." Hmm. That's got a uh, a lingering. It's a lingering odor and taste. This this is bad. <laughs> Real bad, guys. We're going to end it on this one right here. You never know what you're going to find out here at these auctions, man. It's part of why I love coming out here and kind of going through the cars and checking things out. I hope you guys enjoy doing it with me. If you did, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, and share the video with your friends. Maybe your friends would like to see it. I would truly appreciate it. Stay safe out there, everybody. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one.